that's a, that's a bit of a throwback for you right there. It's kind of crazy to think about the evolution of Monster Bass and how this will be my last unboxing on the channel. And uh, I, it's really actually not even an unboxing. I guess last month was my last unboxing I will ever do. This is OG Monster Bass box right here. The good old square. The good old square. This is where it started, you know? You cracked it open. You had to show us your bass. We know bass. Welcome to the better box. You know, some more stuff in there. Share your adventures. Share your catches on social media. This is... This is where it all started, right there. And then we evolved to the rectangular box, the very mm, familiar shape of boxes that you get out there from other uh, tackle subscription services. You know, share your love for Monster Bash, hashtag Monster Bass, the Monster Bass core values. And then they incorporated the measuring board with some tips, a lot of cool stuff in here. Yeah, I think this is the last month's box. Strike King and the Bio Box Takeover, or Bio Bait Takeover. But yeah, evolved to this. But now, the boxes are done. It's no secret, you guys have seen it, so I'm not gonna do something elaborate, but I just thought it was kinda cool to go back and look at the evolution of these boxes and how things have changed. Now, if you don't know, what Monster Bass is switching to now is the bag. The reusable bag, the zipper bag, Stuff that you're going to be able to put your baits in, which is going to be very crucial and very handy for me in particular. And I'll show you why here in just a second, which was like literally just a second. This bag is full of rage bugs. You guys know I love my rage bugs, but it's just a Ziploc bag. It's what I have. It's what I've used to, you know, unpackage a bunch of my rage bugs. And I just carry them around in the kayak crate or my tackle box in that Ziploc bag which has been good. But now, Monster Bass is giving me a bag every month, a zipper bag, a much heavier duty bag than these Ziploc bags as well, and I'm pretty pumped about that. But we're not here to talk about the bag, we're not here to talk about my obsession with rage bugs and how many I have in here. We're here to uh, unbox or unbag the February box for the South region. Let's roll an intro. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! It's a whale! 9-11. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a huh? Apparently I had more than rage bugs in there. I found some thumpers and some caffeine shads. That's exciting because I'm going to need those coming up. So... The February bag from Monster Bass. Again, I'm pretty stoked about these bags. I think these are legit. I think they're awesome. It's got a label on there to where you can actually label what you have on there or in the bag. See contents right there. But this is the bag. This is the Monster Bass bag. And again, you're going to be getting these every month. Reuse them. Use them for your baits. Don't do like I used to do and just carry all the individual packages and clamshells. Now there are some baits that you're gonna wanna keep in the clamshell, 100%. For instance, don't throw your Z-Man plastics in with other plastics. <laughs> keep those in the designated plastics. But you can take these bags and you could even throw them in the bag and keep them just like that. But, you know, that's, I'm not quite organized enough for that, which is why I'm also waiting to unbox or unbag this bag. So let's get into it. Now I know I said this was a South region. This is kind of a mixture of the South region and uh, some of the Midwest region as well. I do remember that much. This is a bag that I got to kind of showcase for regions that you know I seem to have the most interaction with. So first thing that's in there, you've got the Lunker Hunt slash 125. This is a medium diving crankbait with an extra big bill from the Lunker Hunt family. The Impact Series is what they call this. This is in Perch. Now, some guys will sit there and say, like, we don't have Perch. I've caught plenty of bass on Perch. Uh, what's the word? Pattern, color, anything like that down here. Because they're very similar to the bluegill as far as the color goes and the color scheme goes on baits. 
They're obviously a very different fish. But when it comes to the bait profile, the colors are pretty dang similar. So this is a medium diving crankbait or jerk bait. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about here. The Lunker Hunt Slash 125, that super, super big bill, is going to give this thing a very erratic action. It's got a great sound to it. Like most jerk baits, sticky hooks. Watch those hooks. Jerk baits. Jerk baits are going to be, I mean, they're a year round bait. Don't think that it's just, you know, for winter time, for cold weather, anything like that. It's all in the presentation of how you're doing it. But, I mean, I've grown a lot more confident with a jerk bait towards the end of last year and this year. And it's one that I don't plan on putting down. So these are going to be baits that I will be using year round. Next thing that we got in here is from Candy Baits, and they call it the Ned Log. It's watermelon red, and it is very reminiscent to, well, just about any other Ned bait that's out there. But Candy Baits is one of these smaller companies that, you know, we are um, showcasing this month in the Monster Bass box. But great Ned bait, nice little texture to it right there. Let's focus on that. Watermelon red, Ned rigs get bit. Ned rigs get bit year round. Don't sleep on them. It's not the most exciting way of fishing, but the fight makes up for it. That's the biggest thing I can tell you. A lot of guys don't want to go out there and Ned Rig bait or Ned Rig fish because it's a little slower. But when you get that fish on that light line and that spinning tackle, it makes up for it. So slow yourself down. If you haven't thrown a Ned Rig just yet, do it. Figure it out. Throw a Ned Rig bait because they're worth it. Next thing that we got in here from Thunderhawk, this is called the Camel Craw. And it looks like a tilapia kind of color. I don't know the color. I'm not going to pretend that I know the color. The color says, it says smoke. It reminds me very much of a tilapia. But this is the Camel Craw. The Camel Craw, this looks sick. Camel Craw made me think of Camel Spider at first, and I got a little freaked out because I don't like Camel Spiders at all. But Camel Craw, this thing looks insane. Look at those pinchers. Big phalanges on those pinchers right there. You're going to get a lot of action, a lot of kick out of these things right here. I like that. That rib body, I wouldn't say so much of a punching bait, but this is going to be a great crawl, like Texas rig style bait, jig style trailer. Just, you know, munch off the top part, of half of that body right there. Throw that on a jig. And speaking of jig, we got the junkyard jig from old... Mr. Biffle himself, the junkyard jig, this is a three quarter ounce junkyard jig. It's got rattles built into it. Three quarter ounce, this is going to be great for right now, especially getting it down deeper, getting it down faster, because a lot of those fish that we're seeing right now are hugged to the bottom. If they're not suspended, they're hugging the bottom. So three quarter ounce, I'm very happy with that. Junkyard jig, built in rattle. On a trailer right now with the colder water though, I would not recommend throwing this on there. Reason for that is there was a lot of action to those pinchers. You want something more like a beaver style bait. As far as a trailer goes, a little less, a little more subtle. Less movement, a little more subtle, which is one reason why your Ned Rigs are gonna work so well right now. So the Camel Craw from Thunderhawk in the smoke color, I would definitely say it's more like a tilapia tilapia magic or anything like that then we've got the strike king series 4 crankbait and sexy shad right here four to eight foot medium diving crankbait strike king nails it i mean nail it every time it's got a good deep knock with a little rattle as well so series four five to eight foot strike king sexy shad always nails it we're getting more spear point hooks as well little variety pack on the spear point hooks. One thing that I would say is probably my favorite bait in this bag. I like them all, but there's two favorites and I saved them for last. Obviously, as you can see here, we got Rage Swimmers in that pearl, that white pearl, whatever, what do they call this one? Pearl Flash, that's right. Rage Swimmer and Pearl Flash. This guy right here, what I'm gonna be doing with this is throwing it on either an underspin, a swim bait jig, or I'm gonna rig them all up on an Alabama rig because it's that time of the year. It's that time of the year 
go out, find those schools of bait, start rolling these through those schools of bait because you're going to find the fish either in the school, under the school, chasing the school. These are going to come in extremely handy. And I love that coffee smell. But Rage Swimmer, a staple in a good swim bait trailer. You can't go wrong. Rage Swimmer's always good. And then last but not least, this is one that I have not used before. And I'm pretty excited to use because, well, I mean, if you know me, you know I love top water. And this is the Cotton Cordell Pencil Popper right there. This guy is loud. I'm talking loud. Pencil Popper on this guy. And the color on this one, Black IU. Black IU, blue, pearlescent, uh not translucent. I mean, it's a little translucent, but it's more of an iridescent kind of blue that's on there with the green back. This pencil popper is going to get absolutely destroyed because top water is coming up and I can't wait. And top water is my absolute favorite. Absolute favorite. This bait isn't going anywhere. I'm holding on to this one. You guys know I'd love to give back on the channels. I've got more giveaways coming up. This is not a giveaway video, mainly because the weather is so bad right now that even Amazon's closed. Amazon's closed. We're not working. That's how bad it is right now. So I don't know what that means, but I'm not going to do a giveaway video until I know I can get stuff shipped out to you guys in a, in a timely manner. And that's it. The evolution of monster bass. Square box, rectangle box, now reusable bags. Get with it. Hop on it. If you haven't checked them out yet, check them out. Okay? I'll leave a link down in the description on where to sign up and where to get, you know, up to 15 bucks off your first subscription. I think 15 bucks sounds pretty good. Yeah, $15, saving 15 bucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm on board for that. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you next time we're on the water.